sure you're gonna go through with this? Of course. I have to. You don't have to do anything. I mean, you don't know this guy. He could be a creep. Or worse, a mass murderer. Well, you know what I want to. And besides, my love life has nothing to do with you. Brian is not a mass murderer. I'm just saying, just because he's a Christian doesn't mean he's on the up and up. I mean, I'm sure Jesus trusted Judas, and we know how that worked out, Miss Christian Connection. Okay, just shut up. Well, I'm just saying, why would you invite him here for your first date? I mean, what are you thinking? Gosh, it's like you might as well have a welcome banner that says, Happy Date Rape, Brian. Enough, Amanda. Okay? I have enough problems trying to go out in public, and you should know that. Do I'm just trying to protect you. I know you are, but I just... I feel like... I don't know, I feel like I just need some normalcy in my life. And I feel like Brian... I feel like Brian could be the beginning of it, you know? I don't support the decision, but I support you. You hard up broad, you. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a bitch. Uh. Okay, but just um, give me give me the safe word. What? You know, a safe uh, word. Like, if he ends up being a creep or something, you say the safe word. I come out. I freak him out. I freak him out. He goes home early. <laughs> you will freak him out. Uh, <laughs> um, I. Shit, safe oh word. My God. Okay. Safe um, word. I blueberry pie. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm together. Um, Mandy. Hmm. I just want to say thank you. Of course. What if sisters do? Angelina, I presume. I'm going to take that as a yes. Yes! Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You too. Thank you. You look really good. Thanks. You look even more beautiful than your profile picture. It's great. So sweet. Thank you. Would you like to come in? I would love to come in. Thank you. Beautiful place you got. So you're nervous too? Oh, can you tell? Yeah, it's... Not like I do this all the time, I'm really scared to death. You know, you could be a mass murderer for all I know. It's so weird that you say that. My sister was just saying the exact same thing. Your sister? Mm -hmm. Should she be joining us? No, no, she, she won't be here tonight. Okay. So, what's on the agenda for tonight? Maybe a hot game of Naked Twister? Excuse me? I'm sorry, that was... Totally inappropriate. I am really bad at telling jokes. I just want to apologize for being so bad at it. Okay. Um, uh, tonight, I wanted to scare the pants off of you. Oh, you're talking about horror films, right? I just, um, I don't really do well with horror films. It's really not my thing. Maybe you have a nice, I don't know, faith-based film or a feel-good film we could watch, something like that. Really? Uh, I guess I must have misread your uh, profile on Christian Connection. I'm sorry. No, um, 
actually, um, I have a confession to make. Oh, so here it goes. You're gonna tell me you're not a Christian, right? And I'm sorry. If that's it, I just I, I can't. I can't do this. Really? I just wanted to meet someone nice. You know I'm joking, right? You're a jerk. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I am a jerk. I'm really terrible at jokes too. You I, really are. I know. I gotta stop. I'll tell you what, I'll make a little deal with you. Why don't we sit down and watch your horror films? I'll sit through all of them. At the end of it, give me a little kiss. But I don't even know you. I know, but we're not talking about like steaming up the room or the windows. We're just talking about a little pack on the cheek, you know? Let's make a deal. Okay, it's a deal. All right. Let's make it official. All right. Let's watch those horror films. No. Get the fuck out. Hey, look, man, look, look. Come on, you know I'm good for it, man. Come on, talk to me. I, I said to... fuck off. Look, man, look, I got something going on. Look, look help me up, man. I'm, I just asked for a little help. Look, I don't... Oh, come on, man. Good for nothing, Kurt. That is what you are. My brothers catch you here, and your mother be shot in my casket. You understand me. Look, man, look, I got the score, all right? Look, you know I'm good for it. Look, just give me till Monday, and I'll have it on front of your doorstep. Give me a chance, man. What do you have in mind, Dr. Look, I just got the score, all right? Look, I'll cash in, cash out, and pay you in front of your hand. Look, you... Monday, you piece of shit. Monday, you will come. You will bring me everything for me. Or I will find you. And I will carve out your eyes. Oh, fuck y'all. Fuck off, man. It's not my first rodeo. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this bitch right here. Look at that fucking cunt. You see that shit? Yeah, fucking cunt. <laughs> I don't even know if she's a fucking cunt. Oh, Look at what she's driving. Cunt. Yeah. So what's the plan? You've been gone a long time. Did you get his wine? Yep. Got your wine. It's not my wine. It's his wine. What time is it going to be here? What time is it going to be here? It's going to be here at 6. All right, great. Thanks. This house. Is she expecting company or what? Fuck out who the fuck that is. Fuck this, Dan. Let's just go fucking get another house. And piss gold over on West Side. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Look, we stick to this fucking plan and we stick to this fucking house. You understand? Alright. How do you know they have money anyway? Oh, I do. Yep, how do you know? Hello? Hey, it's because I fucking know one. Alright? That bitch is a fucking bank manager. Just what we need, Mr. Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm mad. Who 
Whoa, hey now. You think I have Dean Martin or something? Really, Dad? Two glasses are gonna kill you? You know, drink up. She went all over town to find me. Oh, if that's the case, you can top that baby off, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait a minute here. You go through all this trouble, you're not gonna have a drink with us, hon? Well, we can't right now, Dad. Well, goddamn. I'm gonna be a grandpa. <laughs> Great news and congratulations, you two. <laughs> Cheers. What the fuck's going on in there? Probably in there jerking off. Stop <laughs> down, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, we don't want to miss that. We should probably hit him now. Just sit. Just sit. <laughs> Yes. We go in. I say we go in. I say it, Norse. We go in when you fucking go in. Good enough, Captain. So, have you made maternity arrangements at the banks? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's not due till August. Yeah. But it's all set. In the plant, Rick? Yeah, the plant. I don't want to. Let's not talk about it. Damn it, Rick! You got it. It's okay, really. We're gonna be okay. Mr. Wagner, Friday was my last day. Oh, that's just great. What was it this time? Yeah, shit. I don't even want to know. Look. No. You look. Ever since you got back from war, You've had problems with authority. You've had problems with your temper. You're just not the same Rick that married my little girl. It's complicated. All right. Complicated? Let me tell you about complicated. In 67, my platoon was patrolling a small village outside of Saigon. And all of a sudden, Charlie encroached us from our east flank. You know, I was greener than bird shit on my first tour of duty. I almost pissed myself. Then, old Hopper from Dallas came out and he dragged me into the villager's hut to take cover. I honestly didn't know what I was doing. Well, I hear footsteps outside the hut. So I slide out my bayonet and I wait. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this little Vietnamese girl Hell, she couldn't have been much more intent. Runs in, shouting at the top of her lungs. You know, I didn't know if she was getting off the position or what. Green <laughs> didn't speak the language. So I take out my bayonet and I plunge in her neck and twist it. <laughs> and that sweet little girl, she fell into my hands. She looked up at me as though she was saying, Why? Dad, that is enough. No. Finish. Charlie passes. We go undetected. So I carry this girl out of the hut. And I place an old rag I found in the hut over her face. And as I get up, my commanding officer comes out and he just punches my lights out. So, when I come to, old Hopper picks me up to my feet. And I ask him, what the hell's the matter with him? She was tipping off Charlie. And old Hopper, who looked at me, goes, no, him. No. She was just scared and crying for her mama. You see, we were at their home. Jesus. Jesus. So you try rolling through airports and then people yell baby killer to you, knowing what I do. You know, we did some good over there. But damn, if we didn't come home with some pain. It was a simple mistake. But Rick, it's one I've lived with for over 30 years. But you keep on living. That's the point, Rick. Move forward and keep living. 
That is enough horror stories for me tonight. You want dessert? Well, we ain't got a drink.
Come on, come on, come on! 74. Yes. Get out of there! Get out of there for me! Yes! Best you can do. Come on. But you keep on living. That's the point, Rick. Move forward and keep living. <laughs> that was a trip. You can say that again. You know, why don't you get a little closer to me, you know, just in case you get scared. I'm gonna go get us some popcorn. Sure. Charge, said to him, okay, come back in 10 years and get your car. And he said, morning or afternoon. <laughs> and, and the fellow behind the counter said, well, 10 years from now, what difference does it make? And he said, well, the plumber's coming in the morning. <laughs> Talking the goddamn bathroom. Clay, language. Christ's sake, Carol. He'll be an adult in six months. Hell yeah, Dad. Don't push it, Clay. Mom, Dad, can I please have this? Oh. What the hell is this? A sea critter, Dad. They're really cool. Stupid. Shut up, Clay. See what? No, Mom. It's a sea critter that you feed and take care of. Take care of? You barely started wiping your own butt, champ, and you want to take care of something? Ah. Honey, right now we really can't afford to buy an aquarium and fish, food, and all it takes to care for fish. Right. Really, Dad, they're only a dollar twenty-five, and they come with everything it takes to care for them. 
it would help him learn about responsibility. All right. Here's the deal. You wash the car for the next two Saturdays. Deal. Oh, I need another buck for shipping. Boy, I can't wait to give you a name. Why, you jerk. Why, leave your brother alone. Loser. Shut it now. Mom, I don't understand. I did everything right and nothing. You sure? Yes. Well, maybe you got a bad egg, baby. Go get ready for school. And I'll see if Dad will chip in on another order of those eggs. Really? Really. Cool. We can help forget all about you. Toby, hold up son. Let's go upstairs and talk in the tent together. Come on, little man. What do you want to talk about, Dad? Mom told me about your little fish. It wasn't a fish. Sea critical. All right. All right. My bad. Well, anyway, she mentioned that you were down and out about this whole subject. And she felt that I should talk to you about raising pets. I tried, Dad. Hey, you tried. That's what matters. Don't forget that. Besides, you got off easy. What do you mean? Since you've been alive and a member of this entire family, do you recall us ever owning a pet? Ask your brother. Ask your sister. They'll both give you the same answer. Do you want to know why? Because of Tippy. Who? Tippy was a, a bull terrier that I had when I was about your age. We went everywhere together. Hell. She even tried to go to school with me almost every day. What happened? What happened was, pardon my French, someone gave birth to the nastiest, soulless witch from hell. Ms. Hart. Well, she had it out for old tips and she was a pup. Well, one day, I get home from school and my mom tells me that Tippy attacked me in the back. It was a false accusation, of course. But she had friends visiting from out of town who backed her story, who also claimed getting attacked themselves. 
Arden was in good with the city. So they put an order out to capture Tippy and put her down. You don't let them, right? Hell no. There was this wooded area back behind my parents' house. I took Tippy deep into those woods, tied her up there. Went back and told the city workers that she'd run away. And I would hear that old girl whimpering and howling into the night. Every night. That's when I knew she'd never be happy again. I had no feeling. She even started to develop an infection from the car rubbing. She tried to free herself to come back to me. Just cut her loose. Wouldn't have done any good. She would come back to me. What did you do? One day after school, I went to see Tippy one last time. Only this time, I brought my dad's old Remy too. I let her loose to watch her run and play in the pasture. I rolled around. And then I took that Remington. I pointed it between her eyes. Damn! And that's all I have to say on the subject of pets. Now go brush your teeth and get ready for bed. Grandma's coming for the weekend. Oh, what a delight. So, how did everyone's day go? Mm. I crapped myself once today. Oh, Grandma, that mm. is gross. Yes. So anyways, Larry Henderson got his butt kicked behind the gym today. And that's something to gloat about. He probably had it coming. Mother, you're not helping. You call me Sandra or Mrs. O'Connor. <laughs> well, you hey, did. Honey, when are you going to start popping out those great grandbabies, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Donald! What? What? It's the natural thing to do. Why, she's only 18 years old. Oh, I was just a year older when I had you. Oh, and if I hadn't had that back alley abortion a year after, why, you'd have a half black brother from Boxer Joe Lewis. Ma, you know that's not true. <laughs> Grandma was a player. <laughs> Maybe. I believe it. I'm through. I'm going to go work on my ride. How's that going, son? Do you know how much... How many girls I'm going to escort home once I fix my fuel pump? Do you mind if I'm excused? Yes, you may. Grandma, you up for a game of checkers? <gasps> Toby, you know you have to help with dishes. Oh, nonsense. That is work for the woman of the house. No. Sandra, we're trying to teach Toby responsibility. Ah, horse shit! We're playing checkers! Ooh, as soon as I watch my henny band. Cool! Well, I have to go get ready for a date. With whom? Johnny. I met him three days ago at a protest. Oh, Jesus. We're just going for a ride. I'll be back early. <laughs> oh, Grandma! He is a decent guy. Really, you should see him with his kids. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need a hot shower. And a drink. Ma, you know you don't smoke. Ah, cheer up, Grandpa. <laughs> Toby, set up the checkers in your room, and I'll be there in 30. Yes, ma'am. And you, you get your ass on them dishes. I thought I smoked. I remember smoking. Call me now, and let's be that devil.
right now. Something's not long. It grabbed it from the sink. Sorry, buddy. Can't quite hear you. Where's the other guy? Thank. my chocolate bar with almonds. <laughs> oh, you brought me one of those on our very first date. I remember it like it was yesterday. I opened the door. You were standing there in your navy uniform. So tall, so handsome. Oh, it just took my breath away. Oh, and then afterwards we went dancing. That big band sound was something. And afterwards you took me home. So romantic, full moon, you held me in your arms and kissed me, and I knew you were the one for me. Oh, Grandpa, where'd you, where'd you go? Why'd you leave me? I miss you so much. I, I love you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you went to the store. <laughs> Remember to bring me that chocolate ball with almonds. <laughs> Grandma, Grandma. Who the hell are you? Grandma, it's me, Toby, your grandson. Oh, no. I heard about you creeps on 60 Minutes coming to bleed me dry on my social security. Grandma? three days now. I'm really starting to chafe. Sorry, Johnny. I'm just nervous, I guess. Do you have protection? Sure, baby. I always carry a crowbar in case you run into a pack of undesirables. Oh, sure. You know what <laughs> I mean. What the hell is that? Some Spanish love. You know, get you in the mood. I don't know. So maybe just pop it in your mouth. I don't know if this was wine. Then what? Didn't you say your parents were sound sleepers? Uh, I don't know, Johnny. Come on, baby, just drink it down. Go up to your room. Unlock your window. Laundry, put on something sexy. See, Grandma? Hmm. It's starting to come back to me now. Who are you again? Start without me. Oh, you're in some kinky shit, aren't you? <sighs> Thank you, Spanish fly. <laughs> what the? 
What's under here? Andre, I didn't know you were a cat. Is this your residence? You got a warrant. There's no, no Grandma. They're here to help. You got a 911 call on. Reports of screams coming from this here residence. Y'all know anything about that? Well, apparently there's a whole lot of shit going on. And we're here to keep peace. Hey, peace this, copper. You got nothing on us. Son, your Grandma. Well, she's not doing well, I take it. Hmm? Mister, you have to help us. You have to kill it. Well, hold on, hold on now. Kill exactly what? Sheriff, please. It's in our house. Ain't my mom, dad, and brother. Help us. All right, kid. Uh, so where is this intruder at? My grandma's friend was his friend, and it ran away. I have a sister. This is her orphan's car, Sheriff. Have you seen her recently? No. Show us her room. I don't know, I don't know. 
you. You must grab the serpent of wine by the balls and squeeze. Squeeze, I say. Squeeze. Wait a minute. You said that thing was a sea creature, right? Right. It belongs in the sea. So, we will give him the sea. How does this work? Well, now, Toby, this is where you're going to have to be brave, okay? What I need you to do is I need you to go down to your sister's no, room. No, Grandma, I'm scared. Now, Toby, this thing was your pet. Accept the responsibility. Grandma, this thing's a murderer. Well, get mad. I mean, Hallie killed your father and your brother and... I mean, who knows what it did to your sister? It took Mom to. Well, Donnie could have remarried. Grandma! So I bring this thing here. What are you going to do? You just bring it here. And I will stick a lightning bolt up its puckered ass. Zzzzt. You get on the tub, balance yourself on that ledge. Why? Bait! Get your ass up there, we're both gonna die! Move, move, move! Okay. All right. It's almost time. Time for what, Grandma? Why, for my great-grandbabies, of course. That was awesome. <laughs> what did you think? That was not as awesome as your eyes. You know what? I think that's the pizza guy. I ordered pizza early. Do you think you can get it? Uh, I don't mind at all. You're right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop around your sausage. <laughs> they are one that took peace. Every... At least we know she likes meat, right? How much we owe you? Twenty one. Like Snow White to the rope. Holy shit, are you guys watching a fucking horror movie? Yeah, we guys are watching a fucking horror movie. It will take them all out. Want you guys to be confident? 
You're kidding, right? Does it look like we need company? I get off in five minutes. You know what? And in five minutes, you could march your sorry ass to your fucking house and never see us again. How's that sound? Well, what about my tip? Oh, your tip? Here's your fucking tip. Use it well, all right? Well, well see ya. Fuck you. you. Pizza's here. that I need a little time. What? You put me through all this bullshit and now you're dumping me? No, don't you dare put this all on me. What am I supposed to do? Turn my head against your all the role of womanizing? Okay, I understand that traveling may be an issue, but- Don't butt me. You come home at odd hours tonight, clean your clothes, and then erase your inbox daily. Oh. Oh, and here's the clincher. Panties in your glove box. I explained that. Ah, uh, I met your sister. If she wore those, she'd be food with the waist down. I break up with you, and now you want to take shots at Martha? Don't turn this around. I'm just calling bullshit. Look, it's late. I'm out in the middle of Bumfuck USA trying to get to this seminar I don't even want to go to, and I'm fighting with you now? Hello? Kitty? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Ah! Fucking rent a car.
Anybody home? Hello? I need a phone. It's 10 o'clock. Where the hell is it? Hello? Knock, knock! What the fuck is this? Hello? Damn it. Hello? Need a little help? Excuse me, sir, I need a phone. I need a little help. Look who has arrived. If it ain't the goddamn guest of honor. How you doing, friend? Why don't you come join the land feed? No, you don't understand. I'm stranded. I need a phone. No, 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 no. You come, okay? Have a good time. We all here to have a good time. Thanks to the invite to the Mayberry Mixer, but no thanks. I really just need a Will phone. Will you man. just come in, okay? We got phone. Matter of fact, we got lots of phone. But first, we celebrate. It smells like a carnival shithouse out here. My name is Wicker. Like the chair. Like the basket. <laughs> like a phone. <laughs> really, I'm charmed. You know, you should have got a smart man. But that's okay. You know what I like best about smart mouths? What's that? I like washing the man. Let's go get ourselves a drink and calm down, city boy. Have a good time. Come on, let's go. Okay. I mean, yeah, <laughs> kinda. Cause they like what about you? They like you. That's what I see. <laughs> Fifth slut. Whoa, okay. Where's that phone at? Yeah, okay. I get phone. But you, you drink good. I killed my dog when I was eight. I took a rock, hit him upside his head. 
until you have anger issues. It wasn't anger. I love that damn dog. It was yearning. Yearning for what exactly? I had what mama called the yearning. I had a real bad. Old timer, I don't know if I like this conversation too much. You know, Mama used to say that the gallbladder of a living thing was the best eat, the most powerful eat. I see you met my pa. Yeah, uh, he's a real humanitarian. He is, ain't he? <laughs> Did Paul tell you that he was a medic in special forces back in nine? But he got discharged. On account of too much yearning. That's disgusting. Nam was different. It was me or them. I see you have a bit of yearning in you. Yeah, you could say that. So do I. Oh, what you said, man.
requested a black Cadillac. That's all you had? Yes. Fucking country fuck. City fuck. Something weird was going on here, and I was right. What do you want? You go ahead. Put a bullet right here. Don't mind if I do. Bang! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> I thought you guys were going to throw me down.
Pizza? We need more popcorn. We need more movies. We need more pizza delivery guy. It's one thing after a fucking other. We finished the films, right? Is that it with the movies? Are we done? I lived up to my end of the deal. Remember the deal that you made? You made a deal with me, sweetie. You gotta live up to your end of the deal. I said through the movies. We don't need more pizza. We don't need any shit. Bitch down the street, last weekend tried to pull the same shit on me. Look what that got her. So let's do this thing. Now, it's your turn to live up to the end of the deal. You got that? Ah! Look what you fucking did to me! It's gonna be fucking hard. Oh, it's gonna be fun for me. Out of my fucking fun. Blueberry pie. Blueberry pie, what the fuck? Ah! Ah!
Don't worry about me. You got a bigger problem. 